In 1990, John McEnroe, appearing for only his second time in Australia, took on the relatively unknown Swede, Mikhail Pernfors, in the fourth round. But the volatile American, renowned for his on-court tantrums, received three code violations, one for intimidating a lineswoman. Code violation, unsportsmanlike conduct, warning Mr McEnroe. One for smashing his racket. Code violation, racket abuse, point penalty, Mr McEnroe. And the other for swearing at the umpire and the tournament referee. Ken Farrar has overheard McEnroe swearing. Code violation, verbal abuse, default, Mr McEnroe. Whoa! Game set match punch. That's the end of the match. The former world number one thought he had one more violation before he would be ejected and was leading 6-1-4-6-7-5-2-4 at the time. But the code violation rules had just been reduced from four to three warnings and McEnroe was defaulted, leaving the crowd aghast and himself in a state of disbelief. The Mac was also fined 6,500 US dollars. McEnroe, who had won six Grand Slam singles titles, only returned to the Australian Open once more in 1992, when he reached the quarterfinals. Despite never winning the tournament, this infamous moment ensured McEnroe's name has gone down in Australian Open folklore.